a deal with you. You need work, don't you? <laughs> and you're gonna give me some. I fit kitchens. I don't break people's legs. It's a kitchen I want. Nineteen kitchens, to be exact. You're turning this place into flats. Nineteen. This is a wind-up. You don't have connections like this. Oh, you'd be surprised. So, what's the catch? What's the deal? I'll guarantee you this job. If you have a word with Tina about what she says in court. So, for Amy's tea, I'm thinking tripe and onions with lashings of vinegar. <laughs> Joke. Really? Hey, I could go and pick her up from school this after if you like. Good idea. Amy's got a party straight after school. Oh, that's right. Seemed a bit nervous about it to me. <clears throat> yeah, she did to me now, you mentioned it. Not many of her friends are going. You don't think it'd be better if someone she knows picks her up from school? Actually, Becky, um, I'll get Amy today. She's got a party to go to. Oh, I can just go there. No, no, because she's a bit worried about going. I think when you get to know her a bit better, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Oh. So, let me get me around this again. You want me to get her to lie? No, I want her to tell the truth. She's already doing that. It was Gary started that fight. You saw that, did you? No, but I trust my own daughter. But do you trust a boyfriend? I trust him more than your Gary. <laughs> I grant you that Gary can be a bit hot-tempered at times. But he's all in working order up here. None of your psycho stuff. When David in hospital wasn't psycho. I'd ask Tina again what happened if I were you. When Loverboy's not around, of course. With his hand at the back of her neck working her mouth. You don't know anybody this big. Oh, I know him. And he owes me a huge favour. But if you're happy to go bankrupt, fine. So Tina lies in court. Tells the truth. Gary goes free, you get what you want. How do I know you won't pull the plug on me? I never go back on my word. <laughs> What, you might trash people's lockups, but underneath you're just a regular guy, is that it? You know, you don't get far if you can't be trusted, even in my line of work. Ask around if you don't believe me. We'll get a contract sorted. All you've got to do is sign it. And if they're coming here without the betting slip, saying that they've won, tough. No slip, no winnings. Right. Yeah, I'm still not sure what a super Yankee is. <laughs> no, neither am I, to be honest. Peter did try to explain before he went off to Portsmouth, but I never quite got the hang of it. Ah, here's one of our regulars. She'll tell you what a super Yankee is. 25, good looking, about a million in the bank. <laughs> yeah, well, there's not many of them in here. Oh, I would be a regular if there were. <laughs> I didn't know you were working here. Well, I've got to pay the rent somehow, eh? Oh, good on you. <laughs> um, actually, Leanne, I've come to ask a favour. Is there any chance that you might be free to look after Simon tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I can. Oh, you don't mind? No, I love having him. Are you going to do something nice? Uh, what it is, I'm doing a special meal for Ken, because we had a bit of a row this morning. Uh, I just want to make it up to him. Ooh, weak. I know, there's no fool like an old fool. No, it's fine, honest. Oh, that's great, thanks. What are you cooking him, anyway? Masaka. It's his favourite. <laughs> just hope it does the trick. I, I felt so bad about missing your opening night, and um, hope this will make up for it. I absolutely refuse guilt offerings. Point of principle. Oh, well, uh, well, how about a good luck offering belated? That I'll accept. <laughs> <laughs> how did it go? It went very well, thank you. And you remembered all your lines? Little Miss Word Perfect. And the audience? 
Oh, they love me, darling. How was your meal? It was all right. And the, um, mystery woman you couldn't say no to? Couldn't disappoint. Old flame? New flame. No, it's just an old friend who needed moral support, and I'd far rather have been at your play. Come tonight if you're free. We've run out of onions. We need to cross and get some. I'm watching this. How'd you get on? I'm not sure it's a goer. How come? Uh, bloke who's running it. What, Dodger? Don't know if I can trust him. Why? Because you've not worked with him before? No, it's just his type. They're a nightmare to work for. They want you to cut corners. Why you care? I've got my standards. If word gets out, I'm putting if your kitchens in. Yeah. You don't want to lose all those jobs that you got lined up. We're only in this mess because of them cretins next door. Oh, that's really helpful. Can't you think... Well, it's true. They started it and they're going to pay for it. And how is that going to help my dad find a job? Well, I don't know. But I'll tell you this much, they're going to get what's coming to them next week. I'll make sure of that, all right? Why are you having a go at me? I'm not. I'm just saying that's all. So we'll be back out in a minute. So just talk to him. Talk to him? After what Rosie told him, he already thinks I'm tragic. He's by our faith. Do not start that now, so come on! Oh, it's coming up. Just say I am. I can't believe this. Just talk to him. Yeah, and then what? Just, he'll say something back. All right. Two large onions. Brilliant, Tess. And a little something to cheer us all up. Uh, can we afford that? Oh, 3 is not going to break the bank. David not around? He's upstairs, showing Gail something on the computer. What do we do before computers, eh? Hmm, don't ask me. I wasn't even born. Still seemed edgy back there. Does he fly off the handle a lot? Now and again. One way of getting what you want, I suppose. Hey, I give as good as I get. So you will uh... Doesn't get it all his own way, then. <laughs> You'd be lucky. I'm always here, you know, if you want to talk about this court case. Not much point. It'll soon be over. Talk talk's better than walk walk. I'm, I'm not going to walk. Like I said this morning, I've got something here we're staying for. I'm not going to throw that away. This is my favourite time of day. Dusk. Last of the light going. Curtains drawn so I can cosy in for the night. That's if I don't have a play to go to. And you never get lonely? Oh, I never said that. You must get lonely on your own. Absolutely. <clears throat> I think it's human nature to want someone. I should be sorry to leave this spot. Oh, you talk as if you're going away. Well, not yet, but I won't stay here forever. And where would you go next? Depends on what turns up. Meaning work? Work. People. One person, maybe. Someone special. When do you have to be at the theatre? About well, half an hour, I better get ready. I'll come with you if you like. Well, that would be nice. You could take me for a bite to eat afterwards, if you like. It would be my pleasure. Here we 
I love Carl. How exactly is he looking after Carl's business interests? Oh, search me. So, there you go. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. My pleasure. Oh, oh, I see here's a little treasure. Did you have a nice time at your party? It's gone Oh. So you didn't know many people there. Oh, no, that's rubbish. But did you play the nice games? No, no. Uh, kiss catch, postman's knock, spin the bottle. You don't play games like that at her age. Oh. Well, that is a really brilliant party frock you've got on. It's a Bobby Dazzler, is that? The old lads were giving you the eye, weren't they? She's five. Shall we yeah, go through the back, babe? Aww. Come on. She looks proper sad, don't she? Well, it's not fun when you don't know no one. Um... Well, it can't have helped you back in questions the second she walked through the door. I'm only trying to be friendly. Spin the bottle. Well, excuse me if I had a deprived upbringing and I didn't get invited to parties, so I don't know what goes on there. Good job, Steve, to pick her up. So, what did you want to talk about? Well, I just wondered how you're feeling about lad rags now Carl is not around. Whether it's still a going concern or what. Can we ask why you want to know? Because if you're looking for a buyer, I might be interested. Have you bought Carla's shares? No. So why do you want to buy ours? I've had a look at the books. It's a good little business. I think I can make it into something even better. What makes you think we want to sell? You might not. But I gather it's not a full-time operation. If the initial enthusiasm's wearing off by now. I wouldn't say that. It takes a lot of effort these days, growing a business. Yeah? We know. Amazing how quick things slide once you ease your foot off the pedal. Did you have a figure in mind? 50,000 quid. And if we say no? Then no harm done. I suppose it's a question of how fired up you are to really make a go of it. Or, if it suits you to cash in while it's still worth something. Think about it anyway. Got you these. Oh, Puff. What's brought this on? You like chocolates, don't you? Yeah, but... You're only buying me at Christmas and Bertie's, and it's such a big box. You've not nicked them, have you? <laughs> no. Is it cos I've been upset? Do I have to have a reason? Is it cos you think you won't be here on my birthday? No. It's cos you think you'll be locked up? <laughs> it's not. I can't stay this much longer. Oh, come on, man. I didn't buy him to make you cry. <laughs> Two years, how are we gonna come? We might not come to that. <laughs> if you're very good, you might get some leftovers come out. <laughs> Are you alright? My son's going to prison for something he ain't done. I've got everything to live for. Who are you talking to? Oh, what's she been saying? Nothing, she's just a bit upset. Yeah, like we can. Don't start, yeah? Well, the scum of the street have realised they've pushed it too far and we're meant to feel sorry for them. At least we're not lying, scum. Let's get inside. I don't want another row. You've been taking us for a ride since day one. Well, now it's payback time. I said, get in. Sorry, I can't let you call. If you leave a message, I'll get back to you. 
Oh, then the way you were led off at the end, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> I haven't felt this appreciated in a long while. <laughs> Fooling yourself to the very end. Well, we all do that sometime or another. Well, thanks again. It's been terrific, really. Come in for a nightcap. I think I, I'd better get back. Uh, thanks all the same. I've got an early start tomorrow. I'm sorry I can't tempt you. Oh, I'm tempted. It's not as if you'd be doing anything wrong. No, but... Um... It's too soon after your wife has passed away. You know, it took me years to get over my divorce. I do know how it feels. You can't rush these things. Well, this is it. I don't know why I'm surprised. That's the sensitive man that you are. I don't know about that. I do. See you soon. See you very soon. So what do we think? It's 25 grand. Not to be sniffed at. Oh, yeah. It's interesting what he said about enthusiasm. Yeah, I thought that and all. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but I don't always get the buzz anymore. I mean, it was about me and Liam having a laugh, and now he's not here. Hmm. Yeah, and then there's all that hard work to keep it going and all. I wonder how much Carl is involved in all this. Yeah, he didn't say much about her. Hmm. It'd be just like her to sweep in like a vulture on what Liam left me. Yeah, but money in the hand now, while it's worth something. Listen, this is none of my business. Go on, say it. Well, if he thinks he could turn it into something big, then why miss out on all that money it could earn you? Yeah, but he's only going to do that if he owns it. Well, all right, can't you hang on to part of it, maybe? I mean, if it's going to help provide for you and the baby, I just wouldn't make any snap decision, whatever you do. Where have you been? I uh, went to the theatre. You could have rung. Well, after this morning, I thought we could both use a bit of space. So who was the wine for? Wine? You were seen this morning buying a good bottle of wine. Oh, that. Um, it was for Ted. That's who I went to the theatre with. He gave me a couple of books recently and I wanted to pay him back. And there was me thinking you'd got it to make up with me. I bribed my mother to go out. I dumped Simon on Leanne. I'm sorry. Did you not realise that I'd been trying to ring you? No, well, I uh, had my mobile switched off all evening. Look, I really am sorry. Oh, it's all right. You weren't to know, I suppose. And about this morning. Oh, leave it. I'm going to bed. Don't forget to blow the candles out. Well, I'm off up. Oh. Long day's work ahead of me tomorrow. Still got me sense of humour. Look, um, I don't want to press this but what I've said before if you want to talk if there's something on your mind you can't tell anybody else it's just seeing what they're going through next door all because of what I'm seeing in court well that's a big responsibility but 
As long as you're telling the truth, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's just it, though. What? You won't tell anyone, right? No. Not even to Gail. Won't breathe a word. It's not the truth. How do you mean? Gary didn't start the fight. It was David. You sure about this? I saw him. Gary was winding him up all day, knowing it'd set him off. So in a way, it was Gary who started So fight. why did you say what you did? Because David asked me to lie for him. I'm saying that this way we get Gary off our backs. But Gary did beat him to a pulp though, remember? Put him in hospital. Don't look at me like that. I already can't sleep. Every time I see them next door, I feel guilty. I tried to talk to David, but he didn't want to know. This'll be perjury if you do what he's asking. But what am I going to do? One step at a time. We'll think of something. Wait. Hey, your problem's my problem now. We'll have to sort this out together. There used to be a community around here, mate. People look out for one another. Now nobody sees, nobody talks. We deal in evidence, the facts of this murder. It's classic, he's hiding something. What are you going to charge him with? Bad posture? Brand new series, Law & Order UK, next.